So um, if you want to graph a function that has um, that's easier to look at than these non-factored ones, well, I'm going to put one up here. How about um, an example here? So now we're going to look at the graph. Okay. So an example, f of x equals, let's say, um, x over x plus 1 times x minus 2. Well, in this case, that is a linear over a quadratic. The degree on the bottom is higher than the top. And it's going to look like a 1 over x on the end behavior. Okay, so out far it's going to look like 1 over x. And in between, well, we're going to have two vertical asymptotes. Okay, so the vertical asymptotes are going to be x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. And now you're going to have other interesting points. This function equals 0 when x equals 0. So if you plug in x equal to 0, 0 divided by anything is 0. So the zeros are x equal to 0. Okay, You can find a y-intercept by plugging in um, that the function equals 0 and then solve for x. But we've already got that for this one. Okay, So let's try and graph this one now. So x, y, plug in the uh, vertical asymptotes, so negative 1, x equals negative 1, x equals 2, and a 0 right here. Okay, Because this looks like 1 over x, not negative 1 over x, well, the end behaviors are going to be like this, going to head down to the x-axis, and here because okay, it looks like 1 over x. And in the middle, it's going to hit this point. Now, how do we know what it's going to really look like, though? Is it going to come down, hit this point, and go back up? Or is it going to come down, go through that point, and go back down? Well, this is where we look at values right around the asymptotes. So look at a value just to the left of x equals 2, which would be 1.9. So let's try f of 1.9. We really only have to look at the sign. Okay, f of 1.9 is going to be 1.9 over uh, 1.9 plus 1, which is going to be 2.9, and 1.9 minus 2, which is negative 0 0.1. The sign of this is negative. So because that's less than 0, we know that this is going to come down here. Okay, so it's going to come down like this. And then we're going to try f of negative 0.9. Okay, so just to the right, the inside of the negative 1 asymptote here. Plug that in, you're going to get negative 0 0.9 over negative 0 0.9 plus 1, which is 0 0.1, and negative 0 0.9 minus 2, which is negative 2.9. Now we're going to have a negative divided by a negative, which is greater than 0. So it's going to be up here somewhere. Okay, so it's going to come like that. So this function is going to go through like that and come down. Okay, so that's how you would graph a rational function where the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom. And we could try another one. Let's try an example here where f of x equals, let's say, x uh, minus 2, x plus 3, all over x plus 5, x minus uh, 1, and x minus 4. Okay, so that's our function. Well, we're going to have vertical asymptotes at x equal to 
negative 5, x equal to 1, and x equal to 4. I'm going to have zeros at x equal to 2 and negative 3. This is going to be a quadratic over a cubic, so it's going to have the end behavior of 1 over x. So let's draw this here. Put in the vertical asymptotes at negative 5, uh, 1, and 4. And the zeros are at 2 and negative 3. Okay. And now we're going to fill it in. It's 1 over x, so it's going to look like this and like this okay, on the ends. And then you have to check out the values of the points next to these asymptotes. So you're going to look at, uh, so this one is at x equal to 1. So you're going to plug in f of uh, 0 0.9, f of 1.1 uh, to go around this side and you're going to look at f of this is going to be x equals 4 x equals negative 5 you're going to look at f of 3.9 and you're going to look at f of uh, negative 4.9 and you're going to come up with uh, values for that these are greater than 0 or less than 0 so 0 0.9 we can look at this quickly 0 0.9 here is going to be make that a negative times a positive so equals a negative on the top and the bottom 0.9 will make that positive negative and negative so it'll be positive on the bottom it's less than zero uh, 1.1 negative on the top and on the bottom 1.1 will make that positive positive and negative so a negative over negative is going to be greater than zero. And this one here, 3.9, positive, positive on the top. And 3.9 is positive, positive, negative on the bottom, less than zero. And then on this one, it's going to be negative 4.9, negative, negative. So it's going to be positive on the top. And 4.9 here is going to be positive negative, negative, it's positive on the bottom, it's going to be greater than zero. So on uh, the sides of one, so on point nine, it's going to be less than zero, so down here, and it's going to go through and up like that, and this side here, it's going to be on uh, 1.1 is going to be positive, so it's going to come down like this, and like that. And if it was to just touch and go back up, then you would notice that these fact, one of these factors might be squared. So it's good to look at that kind of stuff. And that's that for that video.